Hi guys, Lennox here, admin and owner of FreeCSGoServers.com and today I'm going to show you how to use our free sample packs and get your own server up and running in only a couple of minutes. Be sure to stay after the video is finished for some useful tips for server owners. First off, you're going to want to use our free download link which is provided at our Steam group, our website or right under this video. Please avoid any fake links and only use our official sources to avoid getting harmful files on your computer. The first step after you downloaded your files is to pick a sample pack. In this video we're going to use our surf sample pack. First off you're going to want to download FileZilla which is available free on the internet. Just type it into Google and you're good to go. Our admins will provide you with the necessary login info. First, you're going to create a new site at your file seller. That is done by clicking File and then New Site. Enter your login info and the basic CSGO folders should appear. Now you're going to want to enter CSGO. Once you've done that, you should copy these files from your downloaded folder and just paste them in. Click Always Use This Action for faster replace. Once you've done that, you're going to enter the sound folder and also copy the files that you can see in the video. Be sure to follow our steps if you have no knowledge in setting up your servers for guaranteed success. Go into the music folder, copy the con SND folder, paste them not in a folder but just into the main folder. Also copy misc. And that's about it. After that, you're going to want to enter the models folder and also copy the file that you can see in the video. This should all take about 5 minutes in total. So we, if something goes too fast for you, be sure to rewatch the video or pause it or watch it in slow motion. Now, you're going to want to enter the materials folder and also copy the models folder into the materials folder. After that, be sure to delete any unnecessary maps. Of course, you can keep the maps that you would like to play on. You can use any map with any sample pack. You just have to get the file on your own. I recommend using FPS Banana or any other website that provides free CSGO maps. Or you can use your own maps that you can find in your own CSGO folder. That way you play maps that you already know. For this video we are going to use Surf Mega Machine. Note that you can copy files without waiting for them to finish uploading. Just post up everything and then wait for it to finish uploading all at once. Now you're going to want to enter the config folder, which is one of the most important folders, so be sure to watch the video closely. You're going to want to copy the config files into source mod. After that, you're going to copy this folder. Now be, be sure to watch the video really closely. For each game type, there is a game mode config file. Remember, there are preset files that you downloaded don't have each game mode set up. That means a regular surf server won't have deathmatch config files in them. In the future there's going to be more folders for each game type separately. For now you can ask our admins or try and customize the game mode files yourself. The regular game mode files are going to work and give you for example basic deathmatch functionality. However it's not really optimized. After that you're going to enter your server config file, which is really important. Here you can set your server name, the game mode so people know on what server they plan to play on and any other info you want to give. We don't require you to put our name into the server name, that is just for tutorial purposes. Click on save so that the window appears just like in the video, that way you know you have saved your files. Once you've done that, you can exit the folder and enter the add-ons folder. Go into source mod 
and this is basically the last step to have your own server. Go into the translations folder, then copy this folder again into the main folder. Don't post it into the other folders that you see. Now just copy every text file and replace the old ones. Then you can leave this folder again. Go into scripting and here again it's quite important that you look at the video closely and paste each folder into the main folder. Don't post folders into other folders, otherwise they're not going to work. Then enter include again and paste this folder into it. Now you're going to have a bunch of SP files. Just like at the other folders, highlight them all and just copy paste them into your main folder. Once we've done that, you're going to enter the plugins folder. In this folder, you can paste any plugin that you would like to have on your server. We, re we recommend for now only posting our official add-ons into your folder so that everything works. However, if you do a little research, you can post plugins that you find on the internet to enhance your server. Then go into the configs folder, copy these folders, again highlight everything and just paste it into the main folder. Now we're finished. The only thing left to do is give our admins a short heads up so they can restart the server. After that, if you copy the files correctly, your server is up and running. Tips and tricks. At the map list text file, you can enter the map names that you would like to have in your server rotation. This is not the map order, it's just all maps that will enter server rotation. After the time, all rounds have passed. Be sure to always click save if you have altered any text files. Now you're going to enter the map cycle text file. This is actually the file that provides you the map order. After the first map has played, the second one is going to play. You can have it playing randomly or in any order that you set up. Note that you have to put every map name into that for the server to correctly change maps. If you don't put a map name into it, the server won't recognize the map and won't change to it. Now we're again at the config file where you can set up your server name. As you can see in the video, under sv underscore tags, you can set your server tags. Be sure to all only set tags that actually apply to yourself, like the map name, mode and server name. Under aircon underscore password, you can set the aircon password for any of your admins. As you can see in the video, there's a lot of different settings that you can play around with. Please don't change the fast download link, otherwise your maps will take a while to download for players that join your server. In the config folder, under advertisements, there's actually advertisements that will show the players while playing on your server. You can change these advertisements because they probably won't fit your server. If you have any questions, be sure to contact me, Lennox, directly through Steam. This is my profile page. Or any of our group admins. The group is called freecsgoservers.com at Steam. Thanks for watching. Good luck and have fun with your own servers. If you have any problems, feel free to contact us at any time.